Superintendent Chalmers, welcome. I'm so glad you could stop by for lunch. I've got something special cooking up. It's a Dutch dish called kibbling. You've got to try it. In kibbling, huh? I've never heard of that. What is it exactly? It's deep, fried pieces of cod, coated in a batter mix and served with a tart sauce. Buffalo Bill used to make it for me back at the army base. Brings back memories. Buffalo Bill, huh? And I thought you always kept it professional around the school. I was just a kid back then, Chalmers. And speaking of memories, come on in. I'd love to show you a few new additions to my family. Pauses a moment to let Chalmers in. Would you like a drink while I'm at it? Sure thing, Skinner. What's new with the menagerie? I recently adopted these six creatures. Me, Hippopotamus, my Hippopotamus hamster, and his little brother Raffy, the rhino rat. This one here is Quasimodo, my quagga quail, and his partner Dixie, the Dick Dick Deeg. Lastly, we have Pluto, the pangolin parrot, and Pegasus, my little Pegasus frog. My, my Skinner. <laughs> You're quite the collector. Maybe you should organize a talent show and let them perform for the school. I'll keep that in mind. Now come on in and let me take this coat for you, Chalmers. I'd be happy to enjoy your company, Skinner, and see how those peculiar pets of yours are getting along. Terrific. I'll make sure the kibbling is served with enough tart sauce for you. Let's move to the living room and I'll introduce you to them all. Damn it all to hell! <sighs> Shape! Toe tech. Why have you forsaken me today? No, this isn't your fault, Skinner. You can still salvage this. Maybe the kibbling is just a small misstep on the path to a great dinner. Pauses deep in thought. Hang on. What if I serve the burnt kibbling as a deliberate, outrageous twist? Prank Chalmers. He's always trying to catch me off guard. A burnt kibbling prank could be the talk of the town. Pauses, then doubts himself. But what if Chalmers doesn't find it funny? No, this isn't worth the risk. I need to come up with a new dish, and quickly. Pauses. Looks at his exotic pets. <laughs> it's Betotec is the god of agriculture. With all these peculiar pets, why not try a fusion dish utilizing their special qualities? That could impress Chalmers, show him that I'm not just some boring old man. Pauses. Smiles excitedly. I'll whip something up using Hippopotamus's hamster food, Raffi's rhino rat pellets, Quasimodo's quail seeds, Dixie's dick, Dick Digu kibble, Pluto's pangolin parrot pellets, and Pegasus's Pegasus frog food. Yes, I can do this. A new dish to showcase the wonders of my unique pets. I'm on a roll. Excitedly. Let's get cooking. Pauses, grinning and starts to hum an upbeat tune while preparing the exotic ingredients. The Skinner gets lost in the kitchen. The scene comes to an end, setting the stage for an adventurous culinary creation and a surprise for Superintendent Chalmers in the next scene. I... I ruined the kibbling. I need a new dish. And fast. Damn it all! Looks out the window and spots a shop selling Tom Collins. A light bulb goes off in his head? That's it. Tom Collins it is. Now, how to get it? Chalmers won't be back for hours. I'll just hop out the window, snag this Tom Collins, and be back before he knows it. No time like the present. Skinner exits the room in the scene making his daring escape. Skinner returns, 
triumphantly holding the Tom Collins. All righty then, got the Tom Collins right here. Now, what to do with it? Kibbling was supposed to be the star of the show, and I burnt it. I'm as mad as a wet head about this. I'll show Chalmers, though. We'll have a Tom Collins Kibbling. I'll whip up a fancy sauce to go with it, and we'll have a proper sit-down dinner. In that burnt Kibbling, it'll be our little secret. Skinner starts preparations for the Tom Collins Kibbling, cursing under his breath as he goes. This just isn't my day. Well, at least we'll have a decent dinner tonight. It's Tom Collins kibbling it is. Tom Collins? Tom Collins? Work your magic. Yeah. Chalmers. Just in time. I was about to serve the kibbling. It's a Dutch dish, you know? Deep fried pieces of cod coated in a batter mix. Buffalo Bill used to make it for me back in the army. Ah, I see. I've never tried it. Does it have a unique taste? Quite so. The tar sauce really brings out the flavors. But enough about me. Have you tried Tom Collins before? Tom Collins? No, not that I recall. It's a gin-based cocktail. Simple yet, oh, so refreshing. Sounds interesting. Speaking of new things, I noticed you have some unusual pets. What do we have here? Allow me to introduce them, Chalmers. First, we have Seymour the Seahorse, my hippopotamus hamster. Then there's Rhino the Raven, my rhino rat. Next. Last, but not least, we have Pluto the parrot, my pangolin parrot, and Pegasus the pufferfish, my Pegasus frog. You have quite the imaginative pet names. I think a pet talent show could be fun for the school. I'll keep that in mind. Let me serve you this kibbling while it's still hot. Adventure it is. I'm looking forward to trying the kibbling and meeting your unique pet. And possibly the Tom Collins, too. Of course, Chalmers. You're in for a treat. They both laugh and continue their chat as Skinner serves the kibbling and Chalmers admires Seymour's new pets. Here's your dinner, Chalmers. I call it Tom Collins kibbling. Tom does. I thought you said this was killing the Dutch dish. Well, Chalmers, it's not uncommon for regional dialects to give different names to the same dish. I assure you, this is authentic Tom Collins kibbling. Isn't Tom Collins a gin-based cocktail? Indeed it is. But in some places, the locals refer to it as kibbling. I'm not buying it, Skinner. This looks like a Tom Collins cocktail in a bowl. Well, maybe it's an experimental take on the dish. And speaking of new experiences, Chalmers, may I introduce you to my latest additions? These are my pets. Seymour the seahorse hamster, his little brother Rhino the raven rat, Quasimodo the quail quail, Dixie the dyke, Dick Deg, Dick Deg, Pluto the parrot pangolin, and last but not least, Gag just the puffer fish Pegasus. You Skinner, you certainly have a flair for creative pet names. But how does a seahorse hamster live? And what about your Pegasus pufferfish? They live quite well, Chalmers. Seahorses can adjust to terrestrial conditions, and hamsters are remarkably similar in size. Rhino rats are native to certain parts of Asia, and quail quails lay their eggs in the most unusual places. Pluto the parrot pangolin has a unique ability to mimic sounds and Pegasus the Pegasus pufferish. Well, it's a rare and magical creature. Skinner, you truly know how to surprise me. I'd love to see these exotic creatures in action. A uh, pet talent show could be a wonderful event for the school. 
I'll put some thought into that, Chalmers. Now let's get back to the Tom Collins kibblings. I've added a secret ingredient for an extra twist. Cheers. Cheers, Skinner. This may be an unexpected dinner, but it's delightful to discover new things with you. They both laugh and continue their chat as they enjoy their Tom Collins kibbling and learn about Seymour's unique pets. Chalmers, what's that smell? Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. Wait, Chalmers, it's just Echo. He's here with good news. Echo? In the kitchen? Why would Echo be here? He's got some important information about Robo Skinner. Skinner, that doesn't make any sense. Echo can't just appear in the kitchen. I want to see for myself. Then Chalmers, no, you can't. It's... It's a security matter. Skinner, I've had enough of your excuses. If you... Can't explain what's going on. I'll take care of the situation myself. As Chalmers starts to move towards the kitchen, Skinner nervously tries to stop him. But Chalmers, wait. You don't understand. I have something to show you. This is Sparky, the electric eel. This is Bubbles, the beluga whale baboon. <laughs> Lastly, comes Splash, the splashy octopus. Skinner, this is quite a show, but the fire in the kitchen still needs to be addressed. Right, Chalmers. I'll handle it. Skinner tries to put out the fire while Chalmers watches, unsure of what to make of the situation. I'll be keeping an eye on this, Skinner. The scene ends as Chalmers watches Skinner struggle with the fire. Chalmers, I'm glad you enjoyed the kibbling. It's an old family recipe. Chalmers looks up at the house, his expression concerned. Skinner, do you notice something strange about your house? I see smoke coming from the kitchen. Yeah, that's just Echo. He burst in with some crucial information about Robo Skinner. Echo? But it is just a figment of your imagination. Well, sometimes he manifests physically. I, I promise I'll explain it all to you soon. For now, let's not worry about that. Let me introduce you to my latest acquisitions. First up, we have Seabiscuit, my seahorse seagull. Yeah. And this is my majestic Quasimodo, the Coco K. Laughs. Laughs. I must admit, Skinner, your inventive pet naming skills are impressive. Thanks, Chalmers. Up next, let me present to you Pluto, my porcupine platypus, and finally meet the incomparable Jupiter, the kangaroo koala. Skinner, your menagerie keeps getting more interesting. I can't wait to see these new creatures in action. Well, that's the spirit, Chalmers. And who knows? Maybe they'll put on quite a show for the school talent show. As they continue to chat about Skinner's pets, they overlook the persistent smoke coming from the house. Well, Skinner, I should be getting home. It was a pleasure experiencing your kibbling and meeting your latest additions. Yeah, sure thing, Chalmers. It was great having you over. I'll tell you all about Robot Skinner next time. All right, Skinner. I'll look forward to it. End scene.